How do you go about prioritizing? Hmm. Well, have you ever thought about the rocks, pebbles, and the sand scenario? Now this scenario is something that many of you would have heard or seen before, but I thought it's great to have this as a reminder, even for myself to go through this scenario of a visualization. So my question to you is, what would you do if you had a jar? And in it, you had some rocks, some pebbles, and some sand. Now perhaps you want to stop the video right here for a few minutes and just have a think and reflect, jotting down your thoughts of what you would do with this or what's going through your mind. Now, many people I speak with, and of course my clients, often find that prioritizing can be a bit of a challenge and not knowing what to do first. Sounds like you, I know I've been there myself. So, if this does sound like you, then today I would like you to try this really, really super simple mental visualization exercise, which can help you to consider your priorities and how you choose to spend your time. This is a good follow on from my last video that I did on time management. And if you haven't seen that, do check it out. It's having enough time to do the things you want. And you can find that um, by clicking on the link below in the description bit. So, if you have these resources available to you, the rocks, pebbles and sand, then have a go at prioritizing and thinking about, okay, what is each of those going to represent? And then have a go at how you would prioritize them into the job. So, let's get started. First, I want you to imagine a large, clear jar. Next to it, I want you to imagine the rocks, each a few inches in diameter, a bowl of small pebbles and a bowl of fine sand. Now, imagine what would happen if you poured all the sand into the jar first. It would be filling up a large portion of a jar. And now imagine what you would do if you poured in all the pebbles into the jar. The jar would fill up even more. Then I want you to imagine finally pouring in the rocks, which would then leave very, very little room left over, if any for the bigger rocks. So, let's relook at this when it comes to prioritizing the resources. So, what would happen instead if you poured in the big rocks first? So, I'm gonna put that in gently. We're going to start pouring in the pebbles, right? Keep shaking the jar so that they can settle into the open spaces that are created around the rocks. And then lastly, the sand, which would sift away oops, into the free remaining spaces. So, what are your thoughts on this now? Stop the video here and reflect on this to evaluate your prioritization. So, in the first scenario, sand was first and not everything would fit in the jar and there would be no room for the bigger rocks to fill in. But in the second scenario, it turns out that there would be more room for everything. It all would have a place where it would sit in comfortably. Now, consider that this jar can represent your life and the time and space you have available to fill. The rocks are the most important parts of your life, the important things of your life. 
and the things that are most critical and valuable to you, such as family, health, relationships, and other key values. The pebbles, they represent the matter, what kind of the things what matter to you and that you use your time on, like work, school, but they are less essential than the rocks. And finally, the sand, which is all the small remaining things, those material possessions that are of the lowest importance and perhaps actually insignificant in many ways. So what are your takeaways from today's video? So what is the key takeaway from this exercise? If we take care of the sand first, the small, less important stuff, we will never have enough room for all the rocks and pebbles. We will always run out of the time, the energy, the motivation for the things in our life that are most important. But if we take care of the rocks first and pay attention to the little critical things, a meaningful life to living, then we can actually make the most of our time, our energy and efforts. And we can ensure that what needs to be tended to most is. So my question to you is, what does your jar look like right now? How have you been filling your jar? Now, what is one thing can you do today to shift your priorities, tending to what is most important first, that rock, so there is room for what is truly valuable and meaningful? Now, I hope that you found this of value and that you can take just one thing away from today and put it r straight into action so give it a time and a date and put it into action. Please do let me know how you get on by commenting below and letting me know what you, know, what you came up with, um, how you found this exercise, whether you actually do it physically or through visualization. And don't forget to subscribe, like and share. I'm Zinat Narani, founder of Vida de la Mariposa Coaching a performance life coach focusing on well-being and mindset. If you would like to find out more about me and my services and how I can support you to make transformational changes in your personal and professional life, then do get in touch. You can find more information by visiting my website at https colon forward slash forward slash zenatnarani.com. And if you're there, why not book a call with me and let's get chatting. Leaving you with my mission, to empower your mind to live the life you desire by helping you find and you forge your path in life.